Welcome back to my channel. My name is Bob and today I'd love to talk about five habits that a lot of super successful people have and that have really changed my life as well. And the first habit that I want to speak about is stop consuming and start producing. And what I mean with this is that right now it is a Sunday, for example, and what a lot of people will do is just, you know, consume content the whole day. Maybe you're watching this on YouTube, maybe you are watching Netflix, you are doing a lot of things and you do that in all of your free time. Now, don't get me wrong, I love watching a series every now and then, but it is super, super important to have the mindset to know that rather than just consuming the whole time and just, you know, watching things that's not really gonna bring you close to your goals, but actually start producing something. And producing could be learning a new skill. A few videos back, I spoke about if you really wanna make more money on a consistent basis, one of the things that you have to do is learn this high income skill. So rather than watching a cool series on Netflix, maybe spend some time on actually researching this one skill that you wanna do and becoming better at it. Maybe you wanna start producing content. Maybe you wanna be doing something else, one of the other five habits that we'll be speaking of, which are very, very important. So stop consuming the whole time and really start it producing. So for the second habit that will really, really change your life, and I know it has super, super changed my life in the past, it is meditation. So we're actually in my meditation room right now and meditating, just putting your mind off for you know a few minutes, five, 10 minutes in a day, just not thinking about things too much and really trying to become in the present, it will have such a major impact on you, on, on your life, on the life of people around you, and on your productivity and how successful you will be. You know, I can't even describe how important this one is. And I know I've spoken about this in the past, but it is so important. One of the things that meditation will do is it will really help you to stop thinking about what if. Because if you're running a business, if you're building a business and you are continuously thinking, what if this goes wrong? Or what if that client goes away? Or what if this happens? Then you're not you know, busy actually doing the things that you should be doing, but you are basically just spending your time worrying or thinking about things that may or may not happen. So meditation, 10 minutes a day, it is a must in every single person's routines or lives, if you ask me. It will really, really change a lot of things for you in your life. Just please, please, just give it a try, give it some time. It will be difficult in the beginning, but it will really be important. All right, so for the third habit that is very important, we are going to look at actually writing things down, so journaling. Now, journaling is something I started doing years and years ago, and it's very cool to actually flip through one of these books where there's so much that I've written down and actually really look at my whole thought process, but also to remind myself of what my goal is and why I started doing certain things and what is the, the main goal and the main thing that I'm reaching towards and maybe even what crazy ideas I had in the past which didn't work out then, but might be important now. So just journaling, getting things out of your head is a very, very good habit to have. Now, one of the things here actually on this page is it's the goals that I wrote down for a project we launched late 2019, so the goals that we had for 2020. Now, for this particular project, something happened, we didn't really reach these goals, so it's good to see, hey, what goals did I have? How did I feel like we were going to be reaching it? Why didn't it work? And then maybe pivot from there and really reevaluate as I'm setting up new goals for next year, not just for this project, but for everything. So writing down, journaling, getting, you know, basically your mind to calm down, writing things down, because it takes a lot of energy trying to remember things like, oh, I really have to remember this later on. Writing it down will really, really, really help. So that is the third very important thing that you should be doing to become more productive and to become more successful. So for the fourth habit, which is very important, it is stop wishing for things to happen and actually make them happen. And the reason why I'm also filming this one here in my meditation room is because it's linked to the meditation, it's linked to the, the whole mindset. If you just keep thinking about, oh, I wish this would happen. I wish I would get that client. I wish I would, you know, make six figures or I wish I would be more productive or whatever your goal is. You know, just wishing for something is not really gonna work. Yes, I really, really believe in the law of attraction. So I believe that if you, you know, in your, during your journey, you do affirmations, you do other things, then you will start acting upon it. But the main thing is we have to, you know, start doing, we have to start taking action. And if we just spend our time thinking about what we would like to happen and those kind of things, then it's not gonna happen. So 
what are your goals? What are the things that you really, really want to happen? You know, use journaling, write them down. And once you've done that, keep reading them and start acting. So what are the steps? You know, this is my goal. I've written this down in my journal. What are the steps that I have to take in order to get to that point? So actually just stop wishing for things to happen and start acting like it is, you know, it, it makes sense. It's not some sort of weird, you know, science or whatever. It really makes sense, but it will make a huge difference because it's just a mindset uh, shift, right? It's a wishing for something or doing something and doing is, you know, the only way to actually achieve things. And these days procrastination is kind of an issue and wishing for things will basically lead to more procrastination. So the fourth thing that you really have to do is stop wishing, start acting. All right, and the fifth and final habit that has changed my life and of a lot of successful people that I know is actually making work blogs, working in blogs, scheduling your time beforehand. So I make a, a whole week planning basically. I do this in a few ways. So the first thing that I do is I write down all the must do's. So what are things that I really, really must do this week? And that is not just work related. It could also be have dinner with a friend or with your family or, you know, have lunch and all those things because those are super important as well. Because if we don't plan our days properly, what will happen is that maybe you're just working the whole time and you forget about your friends and, you know, that's not something you want to have long term or you're really being lived by the day by whatever comes in your path and you're not really doing the things that you should be doing. So really creating this schedule for a week, starting with all the must do's, then I start filling out the should do's, other things that would really be good to be doing, but not as important as my must do's. And if there's room left in my, in my schedule, then I'll start doing um, the could do's. So it is must do's, should do's, and then the could do's in the end, which are just, you know, it's cool to do, but Hey, if I don't have time for it, it's fine. Scheduling your days this way will stop other people or stop just events running your life. You will start dictating your life. All of these habits that we've discussed should be in that schedule as well, in the calendar as well. It will really make you more productive. It will make you more balanced. It will make you see your friends and everyone you should be seeing. And it's really, really gonna help you go to the next level. So these are the five habits that I think that everyone should have. And I think all successful people actually have. I hope it was a value for you. If you watched all the way here, you might as well subscribe, leave a like, the bell, all those things. It actually really helps out my channel. Um, and I will see you in the next video.